we like kids. Let me let me speak on behalf of most of the kids. Okay. We like kids. Okay. What? I don't want violence. <laughs> I like peace. Yeah. I don't want peace. That that's actually what it is. I don't want peace. Okay. I want violence. No, we don't want violence. No, we don't want violence. <laughs> we don't want violence. <laughs> Action. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. We are going to be talking about why do good girls get attracted to bad boys? Or better still, why do good girls date bad boys? And with me here today is a very special somebody. Aww. She likes to smile a lot. Yeah, <laughs> very obvious. She's also an artist, by the way. Okay, I remember when I told her about the topic, I said, um, so we are going to be talking about why do good girls date church? No, not church boys. Bad oh God, boys. bad boys. <laughs> she said, What's your definition of a bad boy? So stay tuned, go nowhere, and when we are back, we're going to delve into this awesome, amazing topic. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. Hi guys, welcome back. So allow me to define who a bad boy is. Yes, now you would have you would have your own definition of who a bad boy is, Everybody right? Everybody does. Exactly. But for the context of this discussion, I'm going to say be oh, I am defining a bad boy as somebody that um somebody that is not in alignment with your values. Mm -hmm. Somebody that is not uh is not focused on things of of uh, the kingdom like you are somebody that does not you know that this person does not prioritize god like if you have to say okay what are your priorities in life the person is not going to mention oh i want to seek a for the kingdom of god and his righteousness mm. do you understand you yeah. know that this person is not seeking after god you know this person this person's value is not in alignment with what you believe but still you find yourself being attracted to the person and you don't even mind going ahead to date the person that is the definition of a bad boy for this context. Now, why do you think you get attracted to guys like that? Well, to me, you said a bad boy is somebody that his value does not align with yours, yeah. right? Yeah. I would also say that a bad boy is somebody that actually does dangerous things, like <laughs> despicable things, things that you know that normally yeah. somebody that is considered good or cool wouldn't yeah. want to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you can say a courtist is a bad boy. Mm. And you find out that some girls in school, yeah. university, would date by a courtist. And then, you know, first of all, you know that when you are dating somebody like that, you know you are protected. Your life is not secure. No, calm down. You are protected. Are you serious? Let me tell you, wait, now, I'm not saying protection. Like, yeah. I mean, like, you know that nobody can just dare you because they know that you are the girlfriend of a bad boy. They cannot true. just come near you anyhow. That's you understand? True, yeah. A bad boy does not fear anybody. That's true. He I can say his mind. Yeah. And you know, girls are always like, you know, sometimes, I don't want to go too much, but I feel like, for me, oh, yeah. I feel like bad boys actually make girls feel very secure and comfortable and yeah. protected. Yeah. yeah. I think Let me start for, with that. I think for me, eh, mm. I would say that the reason why um, good girls date bad boys, okay. they, they, there's this confidence about them when they speak, right? Mm -hmm. It's like they don't care. Do you understand? They're not trying to please you. Do you understand? Aside that, aside them not trying to please, there's just this confidence when they speak. Like mm -hmm. they, they speak with authority. Mm -hmm. They walk with authority. Mm -hmm. I personally, I'm not sure. I like a guy who's laid back, right? Okay. Like a guy that do oh, we have to relax. You don't know what you want. Mm -hmm. But all those, you know, something about sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing about good boys. Yeah. People find them to be very boring. Boring. Talking about bad boys that you know their values are not in alignment with yours. Okay. I think, right, that even if you get attracted to them, it's okay to have crushes on people. It's okay to have a crush on someone, right? Yeah. It's okay to like somebody. But if you know that this person is not going where you are going, I think the it's only purpose when you come to the understanding of what you are meant to do in life, that's what can help you draw the line. That's okay. This is a no-no for me. Have you heard when girls, girls say, 
I want a God fearing Yahoo boy. Oh God! <laughs> like, have you heard? Have you heard it? I've heard or, you, it. or like a God fearing Jaguda? You understand? <laughs> I feel like as Christians, yeah. I feel like as you know, good people, good boys yeah. or good guys. Let me put it that way. Let me you know. For good men, yeah. uh, because we do men, <laughs> no boys. Exactly. Well, as good good men, yeah. you know, I feel like you should be able to, you know, blend with the society because what the society sees as a bad boy, the people that you know they are actually popular, attractive, yeah. you know, they are the macho guys. They have six parts. Six part. oh, you understand what I'm saying, girl? <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, so I feel like uh, Christianity does not stop us from being this Christianity doesn't stop it you doesn't stop from you looking good. From looking good and being attractive. It doesn't stop you from being romantic. Exactly. You know, they will see bad boys as those people that can, can do anything for love. Those you players, understand? they will play you, they will make you fall in love and I'm break you, your I, heart. Exactly. <laughs> those are the attributes of bad, bad boys, boys, right? But then, they know the lines to say. And that's why, as a lady, right. if you are not that strong in the faith, you will, you, fall. you will fall. And they will shatter your arms. They, you will fall. Break trust it. Me. But then, what I was saying, I, I feel like as a Christian, as a good boy, you should still be able to, you know, do these things. Yeah. Those emotional things, yeah. romantic things, you know. Don't be so boring. Try to spice things exactly. up, especially in a relationship. Exactly. You know, girls are not, women nowadays are not actually putting. You know, they're no longer comfortable with the normal. Yeah. A good guy will want to take his time, right? But you see some of these bad guys in quotes. Mm. They go all the way. Like they like they know what they want. They, and they do it to the extreme. Exactly. They will chase after you like you are their destiny. Where a good guy will I'm trying to take if my she, time. She, she, what time she are you taking? Me, she likes me, she would answer if she doesn't. She, let me do you understand? Time. They're okay. But with guys, bad guys are not ready. They follow you back to back. Yeah. Like there's no, they don't even give you breathing, breathing space. space, and I think those are the reasons why. I just, uh, yeah, I just feel like some of us, because right now, now we know our purpose. You understand? And God is helping us. We don't, we will not fall for any bad boy. We are boy. trying. Yes, we are you trying. understand? We will not fall for any bad boy. But you see this thing about love, eh? Sometimes, eh, like you just find yourself in this situation, and you just think. I know we have people in Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> because by the time they serve you breakfast back oh to back, you get God. tired now. Oh Are you not tired God. of being served breakfast? Ah. If yes, comment. If no, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot help you. No, no, no. A breakfast, I think everybody will be served eventually. They say everybody, well, breakfast, no, everybody will eat it. Bobo Alama Je breakfast. <laughs> there's a point you get in life that you are like, God, enough. my heart cannot take it anymore. My heart belongs to you now. Jesus. Take the wheel. Take Do you understand? So when Jesus are taking the wheel, you cannot be falling for bad boys. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. So if you are still among the category of um when a bad boy comes, you are not you are moved by his words and by his look. Mm. All the six parts, they will not take you to heaven. Trust mm. me. Six parts will not take you to heaven. Tell them, tell them. Please. It's okay to oh god, this guy looks silly. Mm. Right? Yeah. But then stop it there. Stop it. Let Don't, it remain a crush. Do you understand? Stop Let it, it die there inside of you. Exactly. And do you know one thing I actually know, I've noticed about good boys that actually did bad, good girls that did, that did bad boys, yeah. is that they have that feeling of, I want to change it. Exactly. I can change it. Only God's fire. I don't Wait, have a child to be but calm. Isn't that what Christianity is all about? Trying to... I mean, I mean everything is not all right. Like, no, I mean, like, no. trying to, you know, be in impactful in the lives of others wow <laughs> why are you making this sound like am i, I wrong you please you guys i'm not wrong no, you know, very that's wrong, the intention man. most people actually take into this relationship with these so-called bad boys you know the intention of wanting to change him to impact him though most of them don't succeed my but sister, a few of them could sister, actually succeed sister, okay now if i'm to help you out here mm. this part that she said don't listen to it <laughs> The only person that can change you is it's the Holy God. Spirit. It's just God. Like the Bible says, when we look unto Him, we are transformed from glory to glory. But is it not God that will still send somebody? It's not a human being. Why does He have to be the girlfriend that will want to change Him? Please, 